Hey everyone, welcome to 2 Minutes Tuesday with Bala. This week we are going to look into Azure AI Foundry, what's new from the build 2025. Let's get started. The first one is like there are a few new models that have been launched. The first one is Grok 3 from XAI. Uh, Flux Pro 1.1 from Black Forest Labs is coming soon. Uh, Sora is coming soon, but right now it's in preview. There are 10k plus open source models that you could use and with the fine tuning options. The next one is a smarter model system automatic model router. So it picks an optimi optimized model for each prompt that is being enhanced in quality and then it also reduces your cost. The extended reserve capacity is also available across the board. And specifically with uh, certain models like Black Forest, DeepSeek, Mistral, Meta, and XAI starting next month. Consistent performance. So it ensures the robust performance under heavy load that could be used. Unified API and MCP server provides uh, seamless access to all the models. And then it also facilitates more transition when you are communicating between models. A Foundry agent service, now generally available for designing, deploying, and scaling uh, application agents. It's a fully managed service, uh, handles infrastructure orchestration, simplifying the process. So it has ready to use templates and connectors, including templates, action, connectors, over 1400 enterprise data sources, example, SharePoint, Microsoft Fabric, third-party systems. Rapid development and deployment speeds up your creation, deployment, and context of our agents. So next one is a multi-agent orchestration. Multi-agent collaboration, uh, AA Foundry enables to agents to work between each other, and they can collaboratively also work according to the user needs. Stateful multi-agent workflow, it manages context, handles errors, and maintains long-running processes. So it also supports open interoperability standards, implemented standards like agent-to-agent -agent communication and model context protocol, which is uh, for the seamless agent collaboration. Cross-cloud compatibility, agents can collaborate across different clouds like Azure, AWS, Google, and on-premise environments as well. Agentic retrieval in Azure AI search. A new multi-tone query engine designed specifically for complex question with like human language. So enhanced information retrieval. So it uses the conversation context and embedded LLM to break down the user queries subqueries and then gets you the enhanced results. Parallel searches runs multiple searches simultaneously to gather information seamlessly. Compiled answers with citations. So whenever the search is being performed, the answers are coming back with citations uh, for reference and accuracy. Observability. There is always on observability ensures uh, visibility in agents performance, end-to-end -end monitoring and diagnostics. Uh, Built-in metrics and trace logs provides latency, throughput, usage, quality metrics, and detailed trace logs whenever you really need to debug a particular error. Agents Playground shows evaluation benchmarks and traces during development to refine your prompt and the logic. CI-CD integration supports GitHub or Azure DevOps in incorporating tests and guardrails uh, for checking the agent. A unified dashboard integrates with Azure Monitor for real-time insights and a unified dashboard that alerts about the main agents and models. So the next one is Foundry, Foundry Local. A new runtime for Windows and Mac for AA models to be executed locally. The next one is integration. Uh, Foundry Local uh, will be soon integrated with Azure Arc, so you could manage it directly. Project a Amelie by Foundry Labs, an autonomous agent that can build a complete machine learning uh, pipelines from a single prompt. So for example, if you're asking it to analyze a particular data, it will be able to take the data, feed it in, train the model, and then eventually give you the data that you're looking for. That's all for this week. I'll see you again next week with another topic. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.